I always forget to do this last part, which is make sure that my project is in process before I charge time to it. Okay, so here's my timesheet. So I'll edit my timesheet and I will choose my new project here. And then I will choose the activity. So you'll see when you do the activity, number drop down list that's where the work breakdown structure comes into play you're going to choose the activity that you're going to be charging to so when you hit that activity number you're going to have two options here you can view a list of all the tasks that are in the work breakdown structure or i can view a tree view of it so this just illustrates the list because i've named the phase one task one and phase two task one the activity name is the same can get kind of confusing if you're looking at a list of tasks and they're not named appropriately. The tree view gives you the ability to drill down into the work breakdown structure and see, okay, here's where I am going to be charging. So a more logical view of how the work breakdown structure is laid out and you can charge right into it. So as I mentioned earlier, with the ability to charge or at least not select parent tasks, the system will ensure that I have to choose the lowest level task in order to charge my time or any project transaction to it. So that validation kicks in as you're selecting from the tree view. The fact that parameter is turned on only shows the lowest level nodes down here in the work breakdown structure. So I'll choose task one. So phase one task one is also the, also the task that I did not want us to be able to change the category on. So that defaulted to PM. When I try to select something else, it's going to say you cannot change the category because it's set to mandatory. So it won't allow me to go forward with anything else other than the PM task that's on there. So it makes the entry of the timesheet a little bit easier if you're able to default that. So you just need to choose activity number and then begin to enter your time into the system.